Right, welcome back to the shop. So today we're gonna to take a look at some adjustable wrenches. Here we have most of what Milwaukee has to offer for adjustable wrenches. They are chrome plated steel. They are not tool steel, vanadium, or anything like that. They are just chrome plated steel. Here's a 12 inch one. They're reasonably nice. They have a nice uh, feel in the hand. Um, their claim to fame is uh, these are fine thread and they say that they don't uh, loosen up but we know how adjustable wrenches are I don't know I haven't really paid attention using these enough to see if they really do or not uh, you can see there's some marking here on this uh, 10 inch one from using it that happens to a lot of adjustable wrenches, so not a big surprise there. Overall, they're pretty nice wrenches. Uh, they have this little plastic thing inset here. I'm not quite sure how that's held in there, if it'll fall out long term or what have you. They did laser etch, uh, you know, a scale on there. Uh, we could kind of see how accurate it is if we want here. We could go to half inch and uh, it's a little bit off 20 thou but it is an adjustable wrench um, and that might actually be pretty close to where you want it for the fastener anyway so either way it gets you in the ballpark I just I wouldn't say that that's right on but they do have metric as well, so you can get your metric adjustable. Um, the 8 inch is kind of interesting, the 8 inch that I have anyway. It opens up extra wide, past inch and a half actually, and it actually opens wider than the 10 inch. You can see that there. So that's kind of handy having a short wrench that opens pretty far because you know you're spinning stuff off that's larger you just need a handle on it to keep it going you don't need a lot of leverage so that's that's pretty nice. Uh, the 15 inch is you know a nice uh, nice feel it's handy to have one when you need one the extra leverage um, they go down to six and uh, that's pretty much it about these I mean they're they're pretty basic everybody has their own take on the adjustable wrench these are decent um, I've had them a while uh, used them not abused them but I've I've used them around the shop here quite a bit and uh, I'm reasonably happy with them they they work pretty good they have um, extra holes in them to lighten them up and stuff to throw the lanyards on for the nanny state and everything else. So that's all incorporated into these, which I get the point for lanyards, but I'm not going to be using them here at the home shop. So uh, there we go. Quick little look at the uh, Milwaukee adjustable wrenches. They're pretty nice uh, for the money. I don't know, there might be some better stuff out there. These aren't bad if you're if you're into the Milwaukee uh, stuff. I think they're a decent uh, set of adjustable wrenches. Uh, I do think probably for the money, you might be able to get a little bit better quality, something that's actual tool steel and not just steel that's chrome plated. Um, I don't know what grade steel this is, but they don't advertise it as tool steel, so I would assume it's not, because everybody likes to put chrome vanadium on anything that has vanadium, so I would assume these are not. But either way, they're pretty nice. They've they've held up reasonably well. I haven't, like I said, I haven't beaten them, but they work well for what I use them for. They are adjustable wrenches. They round off nuts nicely, like any other adjustable wrench, so that's... Uh, really all you could ask for so 
quick video on adjustable wrenches. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. <laughs>